Amadeus, two centuries ago. Little Amadeus, the star of Rococo, master of harmonies, beautiful melodies, operas and symphonies, each one a masterpiece. However, there's an envious rival trying to put traps in your way. But he'll always end up failing whenever you begin to play. And when we hear your magic music, all sorrows fly away. Little Amadeus, your music and your sound. Little Amadeus, they make the world go round. No matter what will be with your fantasy, you'll make it finally, cause music is the key. The wrong boat. Hey, look, man, they're all there. Some performers. Just look at them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. A ship to Vienna. You stay right where you are. I'm going to get the tickets for the ship's passage. No problem, Papa. There's lots of things to see here for Nanerl and me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the last case. I wish you a good passage. Know what's missing here? No. A really nice piece of music, huh? <laughs> Why don't we take a coach to Vienna? You know I get seasick. Shut up, Monty. We must prevent the Mozarts from playing at the Imperial Court, and therefore we'll have to be hard on their heels. Me as well. And what is the problem? Oh, the Mozarts are already there, and the little show-off has already found an audience. We better talk about the ship plan again. This mustache is ridiculous. Nobody will ever believe that we're real sailors. Coachman, unload the luggage. <laughs> How dare you talk to me like that, sailor? Unload the stuff yourself. Oh. You see, the disguise is perfect. Mm -hmm. Mario, unload the luggage. <laughs> Follow me. I'll find out if the coast is clear, then I'll give you a signal with my handkerchief. Would you like to join us, little maestro? Your flute playing is really fabulous. Thank you. But that's impossible. We're traveling to Vienna. To Vienna? Oh, I'd like to go there someday. Amadeus and I will play for the Empress there. For the Empress? Mamma mia! Then I wish you the best of luck. Mm. Why haven't we disguised ourselves as captains or gentlemen? And we wouldn't have to hump the luggage aboard ourselves. We dare not attract attention, and we can't very well steal such a big ship, can we? And stick your mustache back on again. Hey, uh, sailors, when you finish that job, you can bring my luggage to the boat for Vienna, understand? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Land ahoy! <laughs> Look at that man! He's signaling to the other man with his handkerchief. <laughs> Nanel, Amadeus, can you please go and look for your father? Of course, Mama! Pumpai, you stay with Mama and take care of the luggage. <laughs> huh? oh. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. I think your friend has lost his handkerchief. Friend? Which friend do you mean? Hmm? The one you've been waving to. I haven't waved to anyone. You're mistaken, children. Huh? Why is he lying to us? And why huh? did you pick up the handkerchief if the man wasn't his friend? That's fishy somehow. Come on, let's follow him. Oh, they must be oh. thieves or something. Thieves? The coast is clear. Yes, I'm sure. Thieves always meet in secret places. Getting the tickets took ages. Where are the children? 
I asked them to look for you. Hmm. I haven't seen them. But now let us take our luggage on board. There's a sign. Left, ship to Vienna. To the Empress. Come, Pumbel. Hmm, now I can finally put my plan into action. May I say something? Must we really take the ship? Yes, we must. And I've just had a brilliant idea. You take the luggage on board. <laughs> <laughs> Two tickets, please. I was right. Then later on, they'll rob the people on the ship one after the other. Do you think so? We better go mm -hmm. back to Mama and Papa. What does it say? My sweetheart, at last we can meet again. Danube, round trip boat over my dead body. Faster, Coltrane! Hurrah! Hurrah! Where have our parents got to? They are already on the ship. On that one! To Vienna! Stop! Stop. Wait for Wait us! Wait for us! Hey, do you have tickets for this ship? Our parents have them. And they're already on board. Our ship is on its way. Come, Amadeus. We must look for Mama and Papa. But where are they? Hmm? I can't see them anywhere. We're about to cast off. Where are the children? I'll go and look for them. Hmm. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen two children about so and so high? No, I'm sorry, sir. Well, I've seen your children, sir. I think they're playing under deck. Thank goodness. That means they are on board. <laughs> are you get to work? Excuse me. Where can I find the cabins, please? There are no cabins on this ship, my boy. We'll be back in Passau this evening. Oh, but isn't this ship going to Vienna? No, this one's a pleasure trip on the Danube. What? But there was this sign. We must see the captain <laughs> right away. I see. You want me to turn back? Yes, please, quickly. We're on the wrong boat. We wanted to go to Vienna. I see, to Vienna. Our parents are on the other ship, and 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 we must meet I the see. Empress. The Empress, eh? Well, then you listen to me, you young rascals. As oh. I see it, I have two stowaways here on board who are giving me orders. <gasps> And do you know what we usually do with stowaways? Uh, no. We throw them overboard! Oh. Oh, here you are. We've been looking for you all over the place. You have? Yes, they are our new actors. They are rehearsing for the play. I see. Rehearsing. They really think their children are here on board. Has anyone got the bucket for me? A bucket? No. Of course not. Hey, I need your help. Take these boxes down into the hold. Sailor, did you hear that? Take the boxes down to the hold. Go on, go on. The next time I'll dress up as a young girl. Oh, I just don't understand. The sign definitely said Vienna. Cheer up, my little bambini. I'm sure you'll like it here with us. I'm quite sure that someone exchanged the signs. Oh, ma, who would do such a terrible thing? Look, Nanerl. The thieves. They must have changed the signs around. <gasps> oh. Uh, who are you talking about? Look, there's the other one. Come on, Nanerl. <laughs> there they are. Going below. It's those thieves. Well, then. Let us take a closer look at your thieves. Mm. Come now, let's grab them. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh! Oh, I'm terribly oh. sorry. Does that mean you aren't thieves? Thieves? <laughs> no, not at all. Though I must admit we do feel like it sometimes. Oh, yes. But nobody is allowed to know that we're in love. Her father is the powerful Count Goldbag. If he finds out that we've been meeting secretly, he'll have me sent off to the end of the world as a soldier. Uh-oh. That far? Please, don't tell anybody you've seen us. Never. Will you swear it, please? Oh, see, si, my senora, we swear it. Thank you. So it wasn't those two who changed the signs. 
If that would be Casanova thinks he can elope with my daughter, he's making a big mistake. I will personally send him to the very end of the world. And my darling daughter will be with her father again. Faster! Faster! Can somebody oh. tell me what you are doing here? Yes, we, we've we been rehearsing for the performance. Rehearsing? Oh, I see. All right. Then it should be a really good performance. Hurry up. People are waiting. Oh, I have a really good idea. Nana, listen. That's a funny clock. How does it work? That's not a clock. It's a compass. Uh -huh. It shows us where we're going to. Let mm. me explain. The needle is magnetic, and it always points north, because that's where the North Pole is. And when I want to sail in another direction, I only have to look at the compass. Uh, how interesting. <laughs> it's quite simple, really. If, for instance, I Thank want you. to go east... Better I have to go now. What? I must free my daughter from the claws of this wastrel. Coachman, can't you drive any faster? Yes, good dog, Pumbel. Clever dog. Go and look for Amadeus. Go, find the children. Run along. Amadeus? Oh! Uh, sorry, I thought my son was... Um... Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy our little play called A Fair Full of Mishaps. A Harlequin in his blue pants to his sweet maid a rosy hands. But just as he is kneeling down, her father grabs the amorous clown. Leave her alone, let go of her, or you'll regret it, this I swear. Leave us alone, the lady shouts, and she pushes her old father out. <laughs> oh, look, Nana, the people look so sad. Think I can make them laugh. But how? Uh, Wait and see. Uh, now, once again uh, with the music. A harlequin in his blue pants to his sweet maid a rosy hands. But just as he is kneeling down, her father grabs the amorous clown. This doesn't scare the harlequin, for he has brought a tart with him. It lands right in her father's face, who is, of course, a bit amazed. The couple laughs, the crowd goes wild. He's not amused about this child. He wipes the tart off of his face. What happens next? Here comes the chase. The father tries to catch the clown. He follows him round after round, from left to right, from right to left. The father's mad about the fact that he doesn't want to let her go. Not with this clown, I will say no. Now, is this how our story ends? No, it's not at all, my friends. <laughs> well, sailor, are we still on the right course? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. We're still due west. Well, I just wondered why I can see Passau ahead. Huh? But how? Oh, I haven't turned the wheel. Oh, dear. Uh, maybe a small course correction, Captain. You're lucky that I'm in a good mood right now. <laughs> oh, uh... And while the ship is turning, there's no more need for yearning. The couple here, oh, what a bliss, conclude this play with a long, long kiss. <laughs> Found out. Oh, we must come up with something else. <laughs> thanks to you all, I haven't laughed so much for years. And special thanks to you, young man. What's your name? Mozart, Amadeus, and Nanner. Children, where are you? Amadeus. You still haven't found your children, sir? No. I think I'll ask the captain for help now. The captain? Come but, uh, I... I saw no, the chicks. No. I mean, children, just a moment ago. I think they were playing hide-and-seek somewhere on the deck. Under deck? On deck? Just wait and see. Well, I'll teach them a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you fish! 
fisherman. Your boat is confiscated. Ferry us to the ship over there immediately. I wish can't go back. And that's why we're here on this ship. And how will the children get to Vienna now? That's what I'd like to know. Oh. <coughs> Dear, it's my father! <gasps> what about me? Now, listen here, everyone. Have any of you seen my daughter, the young Countess? I know she is here on board. Captain, sir, we must stop. I'm afraid that my children are not on board the ship. Well, what to say to that? Don't tell me you only just noticed. Yes, um, we thought they were playing hide-and-seek. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. There are 40 passengers on board and I must keep to the schedule. Yes, but what about our Don't children? Don't worry, dear. I can't do anything. That's a case for the gendarmerie in <gasps> Vienna. Come, my dear. What's the matter? I think I have an idea. For the very last time, who has seen my daughter? Or do you want me to have you all arrested? Uh... Hey, you! I know you, don't I? Aren't you the young Baron von Hasenfuss? You wrote this letter to my daughter? No, no. Leave Guards, arrest this man! <sighs> I admitted Count Goldbag. I wrote that letter. Oh. You see? He's admitting it! He's admitting it! And I also you won't admit... get away with it! I love your daughter. Count Goldbag, may I ask for the hand of your daughter? You. Want to marry her? Or do you. Daughter? Where are you? Here I am, father. My only daughter. The love of my life. Is it true that you want to marry him? Yes, father. Take a closer look at him. You really want this clown to become your husband? Does he have money? Huh? Can he take care of you? Huh? Can he? Really? Huh? Father, I love him. Hmm, then I don't want to stand in your way. Oh, Papa! Hmm. <laughs> My father-in-law! <sighs> Guards, arrest this man! <laughs> Father! <laughs> Ah, this is the kind of day I like. Everything has worked out perfectly. Come on, Mario, there's more to do. I have to do all the work. I'm sick of carrying bags and boxes. Count me out. Oh, by the way, what about Monty's seasickness? Has he got over it? <coughs> there you are, you lazy rats. Go on, get back to work on deck. What? Me too? Come on. Captain, there is so much to no, do no. down here, and after all, I am the... I know what you are, lazy bones. Back on deck. <laughs> but, Father, don't break your what? promise. I do love him. <laughs> That's enough. Let my future son-in-law go. Come here, my boy. Oh, ha, <laughs> ha, I say, this is a really good place. Yes, it's excellent. Be sure to take good care of my daughter. You understand? Oh, father. Uh, oh, father. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Come on. Yes. <laughs> but, Captain. And, and there's something in my eye. <laughs> Aye, aye, sir. Oh. 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 
didn't know that there were so many boxes in the whole wide world. Eh? What's the matter with you? I'm feeling so much better now with an empty stomach. Tell me, Uncle, haven't we got to Vienna yet? We are not. Why? Oh, this ship is not moving. We're standing still. Oh, good heavens. We really are most grateful. You even Without this music, I wouldn't have dared to is ask. Is it true that the two of you have to go to Vienna to see the Empress? Yes, sir, it's true. But our parents are on the other ship, and I'm sure they're worried and about us. Pumpel is worried about us, too. Pumpel? Huh? Oh, that's their little dog. All right. Well, in that case, I think we'll just have to turn the ship around. Aye, aye. What's the matter? Why aren't we moving, idiot? Hey, sailor, don't just hang around. Get up the mast, quick. Uh, quick the mast? But I... Don't answer back. You're a sailor, aren't you? Am I a sailor? Well, of course I'm a sailor. <laughs> just get on with it, will you? Straight from the frying pan into the fire. It's even worse than sailing. <laughs> It's getting dark. Where are our poor children? Oh, what beautiful music. Yes, and played so well. Listen. That must be Amadeus. He's the only one who can play like that. I don't believe it. Oh, no, no. That's my papa. <laughs> Captain, oh, hmm? Captain, that's my papa. Where? Well. Hmm. It's coming from 12 degrees west. Hey, Seaman, can you see anything? No, nothing. I can't see anything at all. You're a dirty old liar. There's a ship ahead. Papa! Mama! Mama! Papa! Papa! <laughs> Amadeus, Nano, we found, we you, found you at last. Hello! Hello. Here, Here we, we are. are at last! At last! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Slumpearl. <laughs> that was the most exciting trip I've ever had. No, oh, I think my plan has gone wrong. What happens next? Well, isn't it obvious? We'll stay up here till I come up with a new plan, that's all. Why up here? Altitude sickness, you know. I don't dare to climb down. And how long will it last? Till we're back in Vienna. Nice plan. Oh, if only we'd gone by coat. And... <laughs> oh. Welcome to Monty's world. He is smart and evil. Welcome to Monty's world. He is small, but he will show you all how he stands tall. There's much to discover with Monty. Hello children, nowadays we can hardly imagine going on a journey by not taking a train, a car or a plane. In those days people couldn't just take a bus or a subway if they wanted to go somewhere. No, there was not even a simple thing like a bicycle. Believe me friends, the most common transport was this. People were walking. The only way to travel faster was horse riding. Or one could take a coach or go by ship if there was a major river on the way. The Mozarts started their trip to Vienna on a coach. Here they've just arrived in Passau. Their luggage is unloaded to be brought on board of a ship then. Aboard this ship they will go to Vienna. The distance from Salzburg to Vienna is nearly 187 miles. Nowadays, such trip would last only a few hours, but the Mozarts needed a few days for it. 
That was it for today, children. Bye, says Monty. There is more music and fun with little Amadeus and his friends on our website, little-amadeus.com. Two centuries ago, little Amadeus, the star of Rococo, master of harmonies, beautiful melodies, operas and symphonies, each one a masterpiece. However, there's an envious rival trying to put traps in your way. But he'll always end up failing whenever you begin to play. And when we hear your magic music, all sorrows fly away. Little Amadeus, your music and your sounds. Little Amadeus, they make the world go round. No matter what will be with your fantasy, you'll make it finally, cause music is the key.